Good morning students I hope everybody is safe and fine at home Today we will study about last two features that are the eastern highlands and the islands Firstly the eastern highlands In eastern highlands we will discuss about Guiana highlands Brazilian highlands and Patagonian plateaus Firstly the Guiana highlands The highlands to the north of the amazon or in the east of lanos are guiana highlands these highlands are lower than brazilian highlands or we can say that their height is comparatively lower than brazilian highlands and andes but the world's highest waterfall the salto angel falls in venezuela is located in this region its height is 979 meter so it is the world's highest waterfall the eastern highlands are dissected hills as we have studied in landform chapter the dissected plateaus like same way these hills are formed due to the dissection or erosion by tributaries of Orinoco River in Guiana Highlands. So uh, these are the dissected highlands. Not even these Brazilian highlands are also the dissected hills. So let us study about Brazilian highlands. They are higher than Guiana Highlands. Brazilian highlands increase towards the sea, and near the sea, they drop suddenly. or we can say the abrupt fall all the rivers that originate from brazilian highlands flow inland and joins the parana river except river sao francisco it flows into atlantic ocean only one river flows towards the atlantic ocean the rest all the rivers flows inland or in and joins the river parana that we have studied yesterday now some characteristics of both of these highlands both of these highlands are older than andes or we can say that they are old full mountains they are formed of hard igneous rocks some deposits of sandstone and also some deposits of recent lava flakes can be seen in these highlands we can also say that the different type of stones and soil are found in these highlands in the south of south america there is patagonian plateau as we can see that the patagonian desert is enclosed by andes in the southwest and then is the patagonian plateau as this area receives scanty rainfall and it lies between 40 degree to 50 degree south latitude so this area is cold and also known as cold desert it has gentle slope towards the atlantic ocean then comes the islands as we have studied there is chain of islands in the southwest of south america along with the those islands there are some other islands also firstly the galapagos island lies at the equator in the pacific ocean it comes under ecuador and it is very beautiful island next is falkland island falkland island is in the south atlantic ocean these are an archipelago means a group of islands These are East Falkland and West Falkland under British Overseas Territory that is UK its capital is Stanley on the East Falkland next is Tierra del Fuego it is also an archipelago on the southern tip of continent it is separated from South America continent by the strait of Magellan strait we have already discussed in the beginning of this chapter then is trinidad and tobago 
officially its name is republic of trinidad and tobago and it is an island country in the northern edge of south america and its capital is port of spain it is very famous for its carnivals is carnivals is a cultural festival which is celebrated in february to beginning of march in this people used to dress themselves in different manner they used to dance on road and enjoy themselves a lot they have a delicious food etc at last on the southern tip of south america cape horn that is a rocky highland of 424 meter height it is known for its stormy weather as it is surrounded by pacific and atlantic ocean from all the sides the wind pressure used to increase so it's very windy or very stormy weather over here from here only the pacific and atlantic ocean start meeting you can see in the picture how the ocean have difference in water and how they used to meet with this we have completed our chapter 7 the study of continents south america thank you